What is up you guys, my name is Elias and I love movies. I know the Oscars are old news now, the event has come and gone. And I don't know about you, but I have been talking about the Oscars for the past week with countless people. And of course the topic of the year is... DiCaprio. The question isn't just does Leonardo DiCaprio deserve an Oscar, but does Leonardo DiCaprio deserve an Oscar for his performance in The Revenant? Absolutely fucking not. Okay, now, allow me to make myself clear. I like DiCaprio. I personally think he's one of the greatest of all time. But that's just it. He's good in everything that he does. He gives it 150% in all of his movies. People want to complain how he should have gotten an Oscar years ago, but we need to stop and think about who he was against those specific years. His performance in What's Eating Gilbert Grape is amazing, and that's something that I'm sure most of us can agree on. But the award went to Tommy Lee Jones. He got it for The Fugitive, which is good, his performance is good, but I don't think it's as good or even close to being what we got from DiCaprio in What's Eating Gilbert Grape. But who knows, maybe they thought, why give it to this little kid who obviously has a bright future, instead we're gonna give it to this older actor who might not have another chance. His performance in The Aviator is perfection, not just one of my favorite performances of his, but also one of my favorite films, from Martin Scorsese. But as much as it hurts to say it, I do think that the award went to the right person. That year the Oscar went to Jamie Foxx. I'm not a big fan of his, I think he's okay, but I don't think he's anything great. But even I would admit that his performance in Ray was pretty spot on. When DiCaprio was nominated for Blood Diamond, the award went to Forrest Whitaker, for King of Scotland, who I also think deserved it. It could have also gone to Will Smith, I guess, for The Pursuit of Happiness. And now that I think about it, if that would have happened, we would have had a much happier Jada Pickett Smith, which means that the events that happened this year might not have happened. But we'll never know, will we? Now, whenever he was nominated for The Wolf of Wall Street, in my opinion, that's when he should have gotten it. I'm not saying that that's his best performance, I'm just thinking about the films that he was nominated for. The Wolf of Wall Street should have been his deserved win. Matthew McConaughey got it that year for Dallas Buyers Club, which is a good movie, and Matthew McConaughey was really good in it, but I don't think that he was better, and I also don't think that it was a better film than Wolf of Wall Street. Whenever it came to The Wolf of Wall Street versus Dallas Buyers Club, it almost seemed like people had already made up their mind about Matthew McConaughey and Dallas Buyers Club just from watching the trailer and seeing Matthew McConaughey's transformation, which is something that the Oscars absolutely adore. And that's exactly what happened this year with The Revenant. This year there were so many people that haven't seen The Revenant. They haven't even seen the other nominees, but had already decided and were already cheering for Leo. It became a big joke that most people fell for. A joke that ran for so long that I think it needed to come to an end. It's things like this that remind me that awards are just for bragging rights and they don't really mean anything. Can sometimes be turned into a popularity contest. Please look it up. There are so many actors out there that have a lot of nominations, but zero wins. Are we gonna create GIFs and memes for them too, just so they can get their award? Because now we know it obviously works. Did Leo get the Oscar for The Revenant not only because it's his best performance of his career, but also better than all the other nominees? Or did he get the Oscar because we believe he's a great actor and it's a long time coming? I mean, think about it. I hate to think this way, but I can't help but feel like maybe he didn't necessarily earn it, not this time around. Of course, he deserves an Oscar. He deserves recognition for all the hard work, but I just can't wrap my mind around the fact that he got it for this. Does that make sense? But hey, remember, these are my thoughts and none of it really matters. As always, thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget to let me know what you thought of the Oscars this year. Also, let me know what your favorite Leonardo DiCaprio film is. For me personally, I would have to say Catch Me If You Can, which I don't think he got any recognition for. Also, really adore The Aviator, and one of my favorite dramas of all time is Revolutionary Road. I think him and Kate Winslet in that movie is perfection. But that's it. Don't forget to leave your own opinions down below. Like the video if you like. Subscribe for more videos if you want, and I'll see you guys next time goodbye thank you for watching gary movie house like comment and subscribe for my videos peace out homies